right now this particular drill uh, just won an award. Tell me a little bit about that. So that's the AE50 award. That means that they take 50 of the most innovative agricultural products of the year and they, they hand out awards to those top 50 innovations. And the reason that we won that award with this drill is that this is a mechanical linkage drill. So it's a precision drill, it's an independent shank drill, but instead of using hydraulic cylinders to control your packing force and your trip pressure, our machine is 100% mechanical. So it's a one-to-one -one parallel linkage that offers you the, the precision capabilities and characteristics of an independent shank machine, but it's 100% mechanical. The, the packing force springs are separate from your trip force spring, so you never have to worry about adding or subtracting packing force and affecting your trip force. Your trip force is always the same. It's uh, adjustable, it's factory set at about 500 pounds. You can adjust it, but that's always separate from your, from your packing force springs. Your packing force is available in a range of about 100 pounds to about 400 pounds. Okay. What, uh, how many models are there? What sizes are available? So sizes available are 42 feet, 52 feet, 62 feet, and 70 feet. A choice of 10 inch or 12 inch spacing with a choice of sideband openers or paired row openers. Great. Three inch or four inch semi-pneumatic packer wheels. So what you're looking at right now is the main frame of one of our drills. So it's a 16 and a half foot wide main frame with a number of of openers uh, attached to the frame. If you want to just zoom in to one of our openers, you'll get a picture of our mechanical linkage. You'll see that it's built in an arch design with a, with a wide web structure on the top that gives a very robust, strong, parallel linkage design so that you don't have issues going forward. Here's your springs on the front that as your frame goes up and down, you're adding and subtracting packing force. And here's your trip spring back here that controls your, your trip on your shank. You've got a nice close distance between the tip of your opener and your packer wheel so that it's good in trash. It, the residue flows around there nicely. And you've got also at the same time, you have time for the, the soil to flow back around your opener before your packer wheel hits it. What makes this drill different than every other drill out there is if you look on the front, you'll see that we run a gauge wheel. And the gauge wheel is part of the control system. So what that gauge wheel does is it's reading the contour of the ground and it's reading how hard and how soft the ground is. So we have a potentiometer on the linkage of the gauge wheel and we have a potentiometer on the linkage of the live opener right beside it. And so what we're doing there is, is we're saying to you as, <clears throat> as a grower, you can, you can control your seed placement right from the cab of the tractor. If you want to just come over here to the, to the monitor, we'll get a screenshot of our monitor. So what this monitor is showing you is that you can choose your furrow profile. That's your seed placement profile. You can choose shallow for canola, medium for cereals, and deep for peas and other legumes. So what that, what that translates into in practical terms, when you're seeding, you've, you've done your scratch test, you've checked your placement, you're happy, you're seeding through your field, you might have a ridge or a high spot. What your gauge wheel is going to do when you hit a high spot, it's going to be harder. So your gauge wheel, the linkage, the, the degree of separation, the degree of difference between those linkages, between your gauge wheel and your live opener is going to tighten up, right? So the, the drill knows it's got to add packing pressure to bring that within tolerance again. So on the other side of the, the knoll or the high spot, sometimes it's ground is mellow or a low spot, it's, it's soft. What's going to happen is your, your sensor wheel, your gauge wheel, is going to sink down into the soft ground. So the drill knows because now your tolerance is the other way. Your linkages are too far apart. So it's going to reduce packing pressure to bring those linkages back into tolerance. Again, to maintain the placement that you've asked for from the cab of the tractor. So what we're saying again is that once you set your, your master depth from the tip of the opener to the packer wheel, you can control your placement right from the cab of the tractor. You don't have to adjust each individual shank every time you're, you're changing from one type of a crop to another type.